Hi guys, I'm Oli Pierce. We're back again with our third blog post. Um, we already covered summer shoes, casual shoes for summer. We also had a look at casual sort of you know, summer wear jeans slash chinos, trousers to wear with those casual shoes. We've definitely got a big emphasis so far in our blogs on summer gear. It's summer right now, so hopefully you guys can see these blog posts, see what you like, check out my ideas, go out there, get yourself some new looks, get your swagger up for summer. All right, so our third blog post is gonna be on t-shirts. All right, there are millions of t-shirts out there. So obviously I can't go into huge detail like I did with the chinos, where it's like a small category where I can go to five shops and really get the best of what British high streets have to offer. T-shirts, there's an abundance of them. So what I'm gonna to do to make it easy for you guys is go to the same five shops and I'm gonna choose one plain fitted t-shirt and one kind of pattern t-shirt or something going on all of which will look cool with any pair of the chinos slash light jeans you choose, which I've showed you in the earlier blog. So again, we're gonna to go to the same five high street shops, so you can literally build your look in, the, in, in these shops, between these five shops, which you can find on any high street. Uh, then being the lowest range, Top Man, to River Island, to Zara, to All Saints, to Ted Baker. So I'm gonna go and try on some Top Man t-shirts, guys. And also what I'll do is I'm going to put on my favourite pair of chinos from the last blog post so you can see how the whole look's going to come together. And also a pair of the plimsolls which I also talked about earlier in my first blog post. So we can see the look gradually building up for your summer gear. So let me go and get changed guys and I'll be with you in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going into our plain t-shirts, right? Um, I wasn't hugely impressed with Top Man's plain fitted t-shirts, I'll be quite honest with you. The V-necks were bad quality, uh, the V-neck was either far too deep, which I don't like, or far too high. Uh, the round neck t-shirts are simply a round neck t-shirt, and there's no point in me showing you a round neck t-shirt, which can be the same for virtually any brand. I did find this kind of strange little number here. The sleeves are pinned up here, pinned up very high, and obviously I hit the gym, so anyone who's hitting the gym a lot and has got some guns going on, this t-shirt's gonna look awesome on them, especially for the summer. It's actually very cool at the moment, just to roll the sleeves up anyway on a normal t-shirt. It's a bit rock and roll, you know, it looks a bit sort of roadie backstage kind of thing. Um, so guys, this was my favorite fitted t-shirt I found at Top Man. Be careful, right, we're gonna wear this if we work out, we've got some muscles to show, right? Or, on the other hand, if we're hyper skinny. What's very in right now, I mentioned it in an earlier post about jeans, is being skinny, thin is in. A lot of rock stars, it's kind of indie chic, so if you've got really skinny arms, go for this t-shirt. It actually looks really cool on girls. It looks cool with very thin arms poking out from underneath the very high turned up sleeve. So I like the t-shirt, I'm not wild about it, but I said I was gonna show you a fitted t-shirt and a pattern t-shirt from each shop. And this was probably my favorite fitted t-shirt from Top Man. All right, so again, and I think this one was 10 pounds, so it is cheap as chips. You can't really complain when it's a 10 quid t-shirt. If you're working out, you're hitting the gym, go for it. Or if you think you've got some, you know, really bulky arms, go for it. Not if you're a bit overweight, yeah, not if you're out of shape, you've got like, you know, your arms aren't really in good shape. Or if you're really skinny and you've got like two bones sticking out, because that's cool, that's in, that's the look. So top man, 10 quid, first fitted t-shirt. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go on to top man pattern t-shirts. Uh, Again, I can't say I was hugely impressed with the t-shirts from Top Man. Of the patterned ones, this is probably the one I liked most. We've got a few of these faces. I mean, it almost looks designer. Um, I think they're kind of famous English comedians and celebrities from over the years. It's a bit different. We've got James Bond's silhouette there, for example. Looks like Tommy Cooper there. But it's a bit different, right? It looks a bit miscellaneous. It doesn't look like your average sort of Top Man or River Island t-shirt with a really sort of basic, obvious logo, which I can tell is from those shops. I'm not 100% keen on this, like I wasn't on the one before, but I said I was gonna give you an overview of the most common shops and what I liked best. So the one thing is these, this kind of crisp white t-shirt with the plain black print, it does have a bit of character. It looks like it's not from the high street. It looks like it's been bought from a brand which tries to create garments which are a bit more individual. So always stick to that when you're, when you're shopping in places like River Island or Top Man. It's go for the stuff which looks a bit more individual and like it's probably not from that shop. So the other t-shirt I chose, so I'm not gonna try on because it has the same cut as this one, was this one which is 
Liberty and the Union Jack upside down. Uh, a lot of t-shirt brands often have this kind of anti-American, anti-establishment message. And you know what? I'm not anti-American or anti-establishment. We're here simply to dictate what is cool in fashion. And that looks pretty cool. So the Union, I mean, the, the Statue of Liberty upside down, Liberty upside down, it's kind of making a weird take on America and Americanism. So that's quite a cool t-shirt as well. But then again, I'm not totally crazy about either of them. Let's see what else we find at the other shops before I decide on what my favorite one is. Okay guys, right, so the second shop we visited was River Island. Uh, we went for this t-shirt. I love this color, this sort of, I guess it's maroon. It looks really cool, it's very in this season, and it's gonna work very well with your kind of uh, khaki, cream colored, beige colored trousers. Uh, all my t-shirts I wear ridiculously tight, you know, I hit the gym, why not? So be careful of that guys, I'm not saying everyone wears skin tight t-shirts, right? If you think you've got the physique for it, go for it. If you're not sure, then wear something a bit, you know, a bit looser. There's nothing worse than a guy who's been working out for a little bit and, you know, he's got some muscle growing, but he's still holding excess body fat and he tries to wear a t-shirt which is too tight for him. So, you know, be aware of what you're doing before you go for these really fitted tees. But this is, is you know, about fitted t-shirts and patterned t-shirts. So I've gone for my favorite fitted t-shirt, which we can also wear a bit baggier if we're not sure we've got, you know, the best body shape. So this one has this kind of frayed edges. You can look down here, right? And on the sleeve, these rolled up sort of not finished edges and most obviously on the collar. Uh, I really like the V-neck and I like the loose frayed edges. It's actually a complete copy of All Saints. And we're gonna show you the t-shirt which invented this style later when we cover All Saints clothes in more or less the same color. However, this one, let me just check, is, don't have to come in, is, eight pounds, whereas the All Saints one is 35. So we see instantly why sometimes shopping at the high street for a garment as simple as a t-shirt is effective. I prefer the All Saints versions of this one, but then again, they're 30 quid. This does the trick quite nicely. It works, the color's nice, and I like the frayed edges. It looks cool, it's a cool t-shirt. Color's perfect, t-shirt is cool. I totally prefer this t-shirt to any of the ones we've seen at Top Man so far. So not bad, eight pound. Maroon frayed edged v neck t shirt. Okay, guys, so now we've got our second River Island t shirt. Uh, as I said, I was going to try and find a pattern t shirt from each brand. I don't particularly like this one again, as was the case with the fitted t shirt from Top Man. This was the best one I could find in the flagship store in central London for River Island. It's kind of cool. We've got Sid Vicious and Debbie Harry, and it says Punk is dead. It's a bit rock and rolly, and you know it looks a bit individual. So those guys who are more into rock, you know, they might try this. It's a bit cool, but then again, you know, this has been kind of done by other brands like All Saints. It's kind of a copy, you know. River Island Top Man often do that. It's all right. I'm not going to write home about it. It's not a bad T-shirt. As River Island goes, it's the best pattern one I could see. Um, when I go for these these mad pattern T-shirts, if the pattern isn't really awesome, I tend to go for something more iconic. Thus, Debbie Harry and Sid Vicious, and I'm not a fan of either, but I know what they stand for as icons of punk and rock and roll and of cool. So that's kind of cool. People know that you, you know, you're a fan of that kind of thing, that kind of vibe, even if you're not specifically a fan of the artist, it situates you as a cool young guy. So as the t-shirts from River Island went, this one was probably my favorite, but you know, not 100% sure of it. But, you know, I said I'd give you an overview of all the t-shirts from all the brands. So definitely so far, the fitted red maroon t-shirt was my favorite. But as, punk, uh, as pattern t-shirts from River Island go, this was the best one. And this one costs, let me just check. This one is 16 pounds. So the other one was half the price of this. Just for this print, you're paying double. 16 quid is still not a lot of money though. And what might look quite cool with this one actually would be a blazer over it to wear as a more smart garment. But we're doing a summer expose right now. This is the best I could find. Not 100% sure about it. Okay guys, so we're now visiting our third high street brand, the mid-level high street brand, Zara. And as far as the plain fitted t-shirts go, this is my favorite. I absolutely love this color. Uh, I think the sky blue is really nice for the summer. It's gonna go well with the lighter colors, the lighter clothes. It's gonna be a nice summer look. I also like the detail on the pocket. 
T-shirts with a small pocket on the breast are very fashionable at the moment for some reason. And it's also got the same frayed edges and the same kind of style, copied from All Saints, which we saw on the River Island T-shirt. I will say a couple of things. Again, it's very tight and fitted, guys. That's how I like to wear the T-shirts. Be really careful with all these T-shirts that the fit is going to show you in a flattering light. Obviously, I don't know you. I haven't met you. I can't give you advice there. Just be careful. You're not looking too podgy in them. One last thing with this is that it's a, it's a, it's a pastel colour. So unless you have a bit of tan on your skin, it's going to make you look paler. So for the guys who have quite pale skin tones, stay away from very light blues like this, light yellows, light pinks. Get yourself a suntan first, get in the park, hit the sunbed, go on holiday, whatever. Just try not to rock this when you're totally pale. My cameraman, for example, is a very pale guy. I'm not going to show you him. Don't want to see that, trust me. But, you know, he's a guy who wouldn't want to wear this. His skin is too pale. Right, but if you've got a bit of tan, you know, you're, you're a darker guy, Mediterranean, or you're in the sun a lot, cool, go with this one. It's really nice, especially if you've got blue eyes. It's going to go well with a light blue eye like I've got, yeah? And I like the little pocket. The details here are cool. And this one costs, I think this one is actually relatively expensive. This one is 30 quid. That's right, it's a 30 pound t-shirt. Again, right, if you think the River Island one, which apart from the pocket was very similar and the colour was really nice and the colour was much more versatile, that was £8. I really like this t-shirt, but it's not that different from the £8 one from River Island. The colour was more versatile than River Island and the v-neck was a bit better actually on the River Island one. So even though I like this one, so far kudos goes to River Island with the £8 maroon reddish t-shirt we saw earlier. But really nice garment. And if you fit the kind of categories I said earlier, give it a try. 30 quid, Zara, plain blue t-shirt with detailed pocket. Okay guys, so we're back again with my second t-shirt from Zara of the patterned type. And we've gone for the James Dean fitted v-neck. Right, I absolutely love this t-shirt. I love James Dean. He's a really sort of iconic, cool guy. I mean, this guy is cool. He, he's, his coolness transcends social strata. He's a timeless like symbol of cool uh, in Western society and worldwide in general. I love the picture on that one. I like the felt on the lettering. And the general T-shirt's cool. It's nicely fitted. I've rolled the sleeves over a little bit to, to reveal a bit more bicep, which everyone can do. Even if you're not working out, guys, you can roll up the sleeves like this. As you've seen on the top man one, they go really extreme up there. I'm not saying to do that. We don't want to look like a vest. But you can roll it up so it's just above your tricep there. It's going to make your arm look a bit bigger. Even if you're not working out, anyone will make their arm look a bit bigger. And it's a bit sexier, a bit cooler as well. It's more fashionable at the moment. But anyway, back to the T-shirt. So... We've got the v-neck, which I like. It makes the t-shirt a lot smarter. We've got the really cool icon. We saw on the River Island one, we had, I think, Sid Vicious and Debbie Harry. For me, they're a lot more obvious, and the picture was a lot cheaper and blander, more in your face. This one is quite low-key and cool. One of the reasons it's done so well is it's actually copied from Dolce & Gabbana, who have had a series of other icons like Marlon Brando on these very expensive t-shirts. Well, this one costs, let's have a look, 20 quid. So the Dolce & Gabbana ones would probably be about 200 quid. So, dude, go with this one. It's 20 quid. It looks expensive. In fact, when I saw this first, I saw somebody else wearing it. I thought it was by Dolce & Gabbana. Very high-end brand. I love the black and white feeling to it. There's not too much detail. Like with the Sid Vicious Debbie Harry one, there's a lot of stuff going on. It made it look a bit tacky, a bit cheap. This one is much cooler. It's a nice stretchy material, so it's going to fit well on most physiques. And there's a few variations of this one in Zara, this being my favourite, in different colours with James Dean in different poses. So very fond of this t-shirt, and 100% so far my favourite pattern t-shirt available from the high street shops we've been to so far. James Dean, legend, t-shirt, legendary as well. Cool. Okay guys, so we're going to All Saints now. Um, so All Saints are the originators of these kind of fitted t-shirts with the frayed edges. So you can see instantly it's got the same kind of colour as the River Island one. The same edging along here. Right. And it's tight on this. It's basically the same t-shirt as the one from River Island. They've just copied it and reproduced it. This is obviously the best t-shirt between the two. Let's show you the River Island one. I mean, very similar. They've both got the same thing going on. I always go for the All Saints one. It's got this very low-key branding as well, which I think is quite cool. Have a look there, the Ram Skull. However, this one, which is called the Scoop Neck T-shirt, 
is 30 quid. Uh, that's quite a lot, you know? Whereas this one is eight quid. And you know what, it looks so similar that if I saw it on, I'd probably think it was from All Saints anyway. So really, love this t-shirt, and I love, I mean, I've been wearing these for years. These are scoop neck t-shirts by All Saints for 30 pounds. But this one is eight pounds. So if you want to be cost efficient and you're trying out new stuff and you're not sure what you think is going to suit you or what you're going to enjoy wearing, then, wow, well, go with this one. In fact, I've just seen that you can get two for 12, making it even cheaper. So that's crazy, two for, ten, two for 12. And that's by River Island, the first one. This one, the scoop neck t-shirt and the originator of these kind of frayed edge, almost v-neck shirt collars is All Saints. It's a really nice t-shirt and it's a great colour as well. I love this kind of maroon colour. Very cool this summer. Um, but still 30 quid and for £8 we can find something that's very similar. What I will say is that the t-shirts from River Island Top Man, which cost £8, 2 for £12, £10 t-shirts, they're going to get messed up. You know, if you wash them on a warm wash once, that's it. They're going to be so shrunk that they're going to be coming above your belt line. If you don't wash them on a warm wash and you get them dirty, then you're not going to be able to clean them. So you're kind of like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't with those cheap t-shirts. If you really are going to wear it for like, you know, a couple of times a night out, take it on holiday and you want a throwaway t-shirt, then definitely go with the cheaper one. However, if you want to invest in something which is a bit nicer, a bit more quality, the All Saints t-shirts last. They're good quality, they're going to last a while, and despite the thin material and the frayed edges, you know, you can wear one of these time in, time out, time and time again, and it's going to last a while, it's going to be cool. So that's the Scoop Neck t-shirt from All Saints. They also do these t-shirts in a huge variation of colours. I really love them in a white, uh, the black ones are nice, there's an off grey, there's light blue ones. So again, go in there, match the skin colour to, to, to the, the tone of your skin, to the colour of the t-shirt, and the garments you're wearing. But once again, it's a really nice t-shirt, it's going to work well, it's going to look good in a lot of combinations, and especially of our summer gear. Okay, that was All Saints. Okay guys, so our second t-shirt from All Saints is this kind of patterned one. Uh, really like this t-shirt, it's got the scoop neck, as with a lot of the All Saints t-shirts, and as we said, the same style neck and high shoulders, which nearly all of the fitted t-shirts from all the brands have been copying and which all the t-shirts from all the brands universally, well at least throughout England, are copying at the moment. The scoop neck, the low frayed edges and the high sleeves. We've also got that kind of a cool pattern, there's some colour chucked in as well which looks nice for the summer. I like this one particularly amongst the patterned All Saints t-shirts anyway. A bit of a tangent but All Saints make a lot of these kind of crazy patterned t-shirts. If you go in the shop you'll see them. This happens to be my favourite one out at the moment for this summer. Uh, as the cameraman has shown, we've got some like Japanese writing here. I think it's Japanese or Chinese even. Um, and it's just generally a cool look. It sort of has weird pictures. No one can really make out what's going on. It's a bit miscellaneous, which kind of gives it a bit more character than a lot of patterned t-shirts you might see from, say, Top Man or River Island, which look really cheap, which are often imitations of the All Saints style, of a weird miscellaneous kind of pattern. And as I said earlier with the Top Man one, which had kind of an anti-American message with the Statue of Liberty upside down. Uh, all Saints started all that stuff. You often find skulls and weird images of the American flag and strange messages really in, sort of encoded in the t-shirt. And this is one as well. I think we've got an anchor around a cross or a tombstone and we've got some blurred sort of images of war and stuff up here so lots of skulls up there so it's this kind of strange crazy gothic rock and rolly t-shirt with a nice fitted cut looks really cool so this is my current favorite pattern t-shirt from all saints okay guys so that was summer t-shirts uh, i showed you one fitted t-shirt and one with the kind of pattern on it from our five high street brands so now i'm going to go through and show you the ones which i like the most are, are winners from you know this blog so first we've got the All Saints pattern t-shirt. There we go. That's obviously from All Saints and that costs 40 quid. Uh, definitely my favorite of the pattern tees. The colors are really nice. I love the weird pictures, the, the Japanese or Chinese text on it. It's very cool, the scoop neck. 
I also really liked the, the James Dean t-shirt from Zara, if you remember that one. But a lot of guys won't want to have a celebrity emblazoned on their chest and it might be a bit much for them. So in terms of versatility, stuff which is going to work for all ages, stuff which is definitely going to go with all the summer garments I've shown you and many more things. The best one and my favourite pattern tee is once again the All Saints pattern t-shirt. Uh, there are lots of t-shirts in this range by All Saints. This happens to be my favourite one, but as I've said earlier, All Saints is a very cool brand and more or less anything in the shop is going to look good. It's going to be respectable. So go in there, check out the other similar pattern t-shirts and see if you like one more and go with the one you think best suits you. But this one's my favourite, personally. As far as plain t-shirts go, I've got to be quite honest, I think my favourite is again from All Saints. The, the scoop neck... It's called a scoop neck t-shirt and this one's in maroon, I uh, love the colour as well, it's a really good fit, all saints are the originators of this scoop neck thing which we've seen as a running theme throughout all the, all the brands, they've copied it and that's a lovely t-shirt, great colour, great fit, the originator of the style and it's got the small logo on the left breastplate there as well which is quite cool. This is however 30 quid so I'm kind of caught between worlds between this one and the River Island one. River Island one is ridiculously similar, it's the exact same fit, it's more or less the same colour, except this one costs 8 quid. So it's not going to last as well, if you wash this one it's going to shrink you know, after a few washes and it's not going to be as tough, but it's still a really nice t-shirt and for £8, well you know, you get 3 or 4 of these instead of one of the All Saints ones. If you're wearing this on holiday, if you think you're going to be going out, messing it up, then I'd probably recommend getting one of these. So even though the All Saints one is a nicer garment and it's definitely the nicest fitted t-shirt, this one for quality, for money and for value is very good as well. So that was summer t-shirts guys. One last thing I want to round up with is to have a look at the t-shirt I'm wearing today. So this is a v-neck t-shirt from American Apparel. Uh, I haven't mentioned this brand throughout the other blog posts or throughout this t-shirt blog post because it's not really a brand I'm going to recommend for much more than simply t-shirts. They do, however, do the best fitted v-necks. V-necks are always very cool. It makes stuff look smart in any combination. You can wear this in a combination like I'm wearing now, if you want to just like pan down, with a pair of the plimsolls I showed you in my first blog, a pair of the jeans I showed you in my second blog, and now a t-shirt from the third blog. And we've got a cool look. Summer. Nice look for going out in the evening, again a cool look. So this is a v-neck from American Apparel. These cost £17 and these are the definitive best v-neck t-shirt available. I've had this one for about a year now and it's still in good shape. It's still tight, it hasn't shrunk, it fits my body and my physique well and it's a really cool t-shirt. So apart from the ones which I said today, the best patterned one was All Saints, the best fitted one was All Saints slash River Island. As a v-neck, American Apparel does the best ones in a huge variation of colours. So check that out as well, guys. American Apparel for v-necks. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. I'm Ollie Pierce, and that was Summer T-shirts. Stay tuned for more blogs, uh, more stuff coming soon from Fashion Game TV. Thanks.